नोट लेवन टाइम so we have installed this uh, miui 14 uh, on our uh, on note 11 so before starting this video i have to tell like uh, we install this miui ports for uh, one reason what is that reason you don't like uh, miui you hate it <laughs> you guys just troll it but what is that reason ha huh? only because of mi camera but before even telling it this miui port doesn't have the miui camera Uh, me cam so it is like same like uh, installing every other uh, stock android maybe you have this customization some other things which we will discuss in this review video but <laughs> ana <laughs> ana give me a me camera ana <laughs> okay enough of things so as for our previous video we have installed the miui 14.0.3 global port on our redmi note 11 space space n we will check what and all uh, there are in this port and we'll see whether you can go with the, go ahead and install it so this is the latest android 13 based miui uh, global uh, 14 running on uh, uh, the latest security patch little bit later security patch which is december 5th 2022 the kernel here is perf what is which is based on 4.19.157 which is same as the kernel which we have seen in our previous pixel experience uh, review you already know what the boot animation is it just a mi logo just a three dot it takes lot of time so first we'll see the drm drm is same as usual it has supports uh, l1 you can watch the netflix and other things but i didn't check because you know why i didn't check i don't have the subscription so yeah it uh, in the app drm app it is showing it supports l1 second cpu throttling so i have run the stress test for 15 minutes straight when it comes to result it is not that much appealing when compared to fixel experience we stayed at 88 percentage here i have ran twice and the first time i got uh, like 77 percentage and second time i got the 83 percentage i have seen somewhere the throttling is happening uh, it's downing and reducing the uh, overall capacity over the time but i think it is uh, fine next i have run the geekbench 5 this is where the miui always shine we got the single core performance of uh, 383 and the multi core of uh, 1699 so uh, in pixel experience we got the 375 here we got 383 which is like some 8 8 uh, points higher which is 2 percentage and there we got only the uh, 1450 in multi core here we got 1000 nearly 1700 1699 which is like uh, 250 points so geekbench is something uh, mi is doing something with the geekbench i don't know the vulcan i have run it is 585 and in pixel experience we only got 437 power cut sorry i will start the video once power back so power came so back to the video so in 3d mark it gave very very worst rating i don't know what is uh, the thing with the miui and with uh, 3d mark i got only the 54 percentage with 0.32 fps which is not at all uh, uh, digestible still uh, in pixel experience also we didn't get much score <laughs> in pixel experience we got 236 with 1.4 fps here we didn't even getting a 1.1 fps uh, we getting a 3.0 fps i don't know so we'll try i also have uh, tested the camera to api uh, it is enabled by default uh, level 3 so you can install the gcam but gcam experience also i have tried some gcams two to three gcams used the config files which are provided but still it is unstable with this uh, 680 processor multi core battery is a power efficient one i don't know what gcam is there uh, for this uh, note 11 if you are using any uh, particular gcam that is working perfectly if uh, it's not crashing or something please let me know and i have also tested the netpass which is passing by default i am using this as my primary so i am using this uh, uh, 
uh, to make a payments and all it is perfectly working fine i'm not facing any issue so also this supports the 4g career aggregation i have seen the 4g plus and speed also not that uh, worst to be honest and day to day performance well day to day performance wise it is good i actually uh, like the experience flow between different things but when it comes to miui there are this just some gestures and left swipe right swipe and whenever notification coming if i go do one if i do something it will open it in small screen that kind of things are still there i just turned off that uh, ios like uh, status bar and all but still i have some hard time uh, using the miui because i already get used to the stock android other than that more the, more or less uh, the app switching and retaining the app in the background is actually good in miui so day to day performance wise i didn't face much issues but when i was uh, running some things uh, like uh, this uh, 3d mark and geekbench and some other things process oriented uh, things uh the miui just uh, started to giving like uh, system is not responding this app is not responding close the app if i click on uh, wait or uh, okay or something means it will just uh, restart uh, randomly so that kind of issues i have uh, here and there but most of the time with my day to day usage it is uh, seems to be stable and gaming well i played bgmi so in the you will see uh, the gameplay in this next So battery backup wise, it is same as the stock Android. Seven to nine hours, I won't say nine hours. Seven hours, uh, more or less, it is coming. We'll come to the charging uh, in a minute. So uh, these are some of the things which we see uh, in every uh, review video. Now we'll talk about the good things about uh, this one. First good thing about this MIUI is it supports 33 watt uh, fast charging. So you can use your 33 watt adapter. It took like uh, I have I was in 20 percentage to reach 20 to 95 percentage. It just took uh, only 50 uh, minutes. Uh, 45 minutes uh, more or less you can use it uh, just to charge it it is quickly charging as per you as your uh, official MIUI uh, do second is the uh, audio the audio experience is really really great i don't know uh, anything else special is that dolby or something uh, wireless headphone uh, is actually uh, sounds good and the listening experience was top notch uh, when i was uh, using this one also it had uh, tons of customization for video uh, that toolbox that we have seen in the installation video and for the audio experience 
which makes it uh, more uh, great and it had a lot of feature as i said you can toggle between 60 to 90 fps and you have the options to uh, enable the network monitor indicator and game mode which you can use it uh, to monitor the fps and other things and yeah there are tons of customization in the display appearance icons and the miui itself is having themes and uh, this one here i am using this uh, pixel uh, theme so it doesn't look like uh, a miui so i just uh, changed it to like that um we have seen a lot of uh, good things about uh, this one so what is the bad well there are few uh, face unlock it's not working so you have to use a uh, fingerprint or uh, a normal traditional unlocking methods second uh, uh, there is one option in the settings where uh, display resolution you can switch between different one hd full hd and uh, whd wqhd which is uh, 2k i think so uh, when you switch to that method uh, it everything will be smaller but uh, the resolution still uh, the touch response is still in the same position so you will may uh, uh, can't get the chance to uh, switch it back so i would suggest you don't uh, in a switch that option it is dangerous so third thing is uh, uh, double tap to wake up so here i have enabled double tap to wake up but here you can see uh, double tap to wake up won't work so every time you have to uh, use the uh, fingerprint but still fingerprint is fast so i can just if i touch also it just to work i no need to click the button you have that option so that is great uh, second is uh, miui camera you know it is not there and it is uh, in general port rooms are good uh, to taste the things like uh, there is some samsung one ui they are doing and uh, uh, realme ui and color os and all they are porting it like this port is you can uh, taste the exact rom how it is uh, in different uh, environment but it is uh, not that great for longevity if you are using it for like on higher two year or something just uh, now you have i have installed the latest one so it is latest one now but after three months it is no more going to be the latest also you don't receive any on the air updates or something so that is where it just gets stuck if you are a typical user like uh, i don't uh, switch between this one if they are giving update if it doesn't distract my device or something that would be somewhat fine i need a official one something something if you are telling means this uh, may not the thing that you want to move that is the first thing when it comes to port roms second is uh, there are some glitches which i have uh, told you that uh, when doing some process oriented things it just glitches do the random restart even sometimes when i restart the device and right after if i try to open a camera or something it will take some uh, again it will uh, uh, blank and restart the device that issue i had third thing is which is my favorite thing which it may not be your favorite uh, this one i am not uh, much uh, miui guy so i'm not uh, i'm more into uh, stock and ride or i would say material you design so i have used to that kind of environment this one uh, seems a little bit uh, inconvenient for me so but i still i can uh, change a lot of settings uh, to get it to that feel but uh, still i prefer uh, stock and right this is my personal opinion if you like this miui why you want to do these things so that's what about uh, this one my recommendation you made uh, got it clear so yeah thank you for watching if you want to be a part of our uh, tech fancies community only limited seats are there so join it quickly link is in the description of this video quote motto